Autodesk Inventor continues to improve on automation in the 2019 product. In this release, there are new iLogic assembly functions, making it easier for you to write code to add, modify, and delete components and constraints. In this conveyor assembly, we're deleting and adding the chute to an assembly along with three constraints to fully define its position. What does that look like in the role editor? Here, we have a simple logic statement to either remove or add the chute. Below that, there are three constraints. There are dozens of new assembly functions listed in the snippet column on the left. They're divided into three categories of assembly components, relationships, and positioning. Adding them to the rule editor is simple. Double click on an object such as a flush constraint and modify the text for the name of the mate, component name, and referencing geometry. In this case, we use planes for the constraints, but if you're interested in using part geometry like faces or edges, not a problem in the Inventor 2019 release. In this assembly, we're using iLogic functions to add or remove the casters. Notice the added caster at the bottom of the browser along with an insert constraint to position each one. As you know, an edge is used in this constraint type. The question is, how do you get the edge name in the rule editor? New in Inventor 2019, you can now assign names directly to geometry. Right click any face or edge and provide a name. This makes it easier than ever to identify specific areas of the model in the rule editor. Here, we can see it's simply a matter of typing in the name of the geometry for the insert constraint. The new iLogic assembly functions in Autodesk Inventor 2019 improve the way you configure your designs and automate your processes.